All right, this is our unboxing of the new Zalman Resurator 3 with nanofluids. We're replacing our old Corsair H60 uh, water cooler, and we're going to try this new Zalman Resurator 3 to see if we can get a little bit higher overclocking levels and see if it cools a little bit more. So, anyways, we're going to do the unboxing here. Uh, <clears throat> first of all, nice, nice packaging. But this worried me a little bit. Hear that? Hi, if you work for Zalman, you might want to package the things a little bit better. When I got, I could hear it through the, uh, when I got this from Newegg the other day, I could hear it through the, uh, the box and um, I thought it was broken, but I don't think it is. Um, I think it's just uh, poor packaging. So anyways, let's look at the outside of the box. Um, right here we've got, um, uh, it says that it uh, is, works with uh, Intel or AMD sockets, uh, that it's made of copper and black pearl uh, nickel plate, uh, so it's low corrosion. Its noise level is between 18.9 and 30 uh, 36.7 decibels. It has a 3 and a 4 pin connector, and it comes with uh, um, Zalman Thermal Grease ZMSTG2M, which is a product they sell separately. And that you, if you're uh, happy with the results, um, you can buy it and use it on your CPU, you know, on other computers. Um, on the back right here, uh, it uh, cools up to 400 watts. It has a dual radiator. It is the world's first nano fluid uh, closed loop cooler and it has a blue LED. So without further ado, let's see what's in the box. Well, this is where all the shaking was came, uh, coming from. These are all the screws and you've got your little adapter, Intel adapter, AMD adapter, your thermal compound and this is actually what is intriguing me the most about this this is the back plate um, which can be used with either AMD Intel and pretty much any socket so um, and then you've got all the other little screws that it comes with um, you have a manual and in here is a case badge somewhere there you go Little case badge, it's only case badge. Um, the manual is in eight different languages. And hi there again, if you work for Zalman, this is a horrible manual. Um, I've already taken a look at it, but it goes the first half is in like Chinese, Japanese, Korean, and some other language, maybe Mandarin or something. I don't know because I don't read it. Uh, but so the first half's in that, and then the next half is in English, French. Uh, German and Spanish, but the problem with the manual is, is that they'll say one line in English, one line in German, one line in Spanish, and it, it's really hard to follow. So whoever's in charge of the manuals, the explanations, uh, you need to look for a new job. This is absolutely horrible. All right, here we go. This is the extra actual cooler. That's actually a pretty good packaging job. It's, it's, you know, aside from the screws in here that are shaking all around making the racket, um, this is pretty safe and secure. Arrived, um, not beat up at all. Take this out and let you look at it. All right, right here you got the uh, the cooler. Now, if you've ever used one of the old Zalman coolers or, or even some of them that they have out now, they kind of have this, uh, this uh, orb type of shape. Um, and that's really what the base of the cooler is. And then it's got the, the, the copper pipes with the nano fluids going through there. And you, I don't know if you can see that. Can you zoom in on that a little bit? You can see the, the copper pipes going through the, the, the nickel radiator. And that's what that's what what actually cools it. So it's a pretty innovative design, and they've won several awards with this. And then you got the, the the single fan on the front. Now you can also put a 
120 millimeter fan on the back, which is what we're going to do um, when we uh, when we install it. In, in addition to that, um, you've got the pump is, is seated in here. You can see the brass plate on the bottom. It's got a little uh, plastic protection sheet on it. But uh, the what I like about this is it's got little um, uh, hinges so that it can move back and forth without uh, without wearing out and and being too stressful on the tubing. So uh, it looks like it's fairly straightforward to install. Um, we'll see. Um, and uh, that'll be the, the next video is the actual, we'll actually video us in, installing it. I'll give you some hit, uh, hints. We're going to be installing on a, uh, an Intel uh, chip um, with, on an Intel processor. Um, so the AMD is actually a little bit different from what I understand. Um, got different parts and things like that. But uh, so anyways, we'll see how the install goes. But uh, that's it. If you're if you're thinking about it, it's really kind of a cool looking uh, piece of equipment. I'm excited to have it in uh, in my computer.